Little lanterns lit up and hung everywhere. Bobbles and trinkets and collections and constructions just kind of decorating this interior space. You hear the faint sound of music. A weirdly grown cluster of shaved wood that is knotted and planed off to form a bar top. There's some extremely out of place grass thatch that creates a canopy over it. A half dozen sets of glowing green eyes that just kind of blink from within the shadows underneath the thatch top. Once she's within the tiki bar, it looks rather small, like she kind of encompasses and fills the entirety behind the actual bar, but as you approach and kind of follow suit, it's a large bar, she's just a large woman. There are dozens of bat-like creatures that all just kind of nest up inside the canopy of this bar. A bunch of the eyes kind of kind of flick on. They seem excited at the presence of guests as well. A number of snakes that slither through the woven branches that form the bar, and they come up and kind of wrap around these sets of jugs that sit on into the side of the bar, these like dark brown terracotta looking jugs. And she immediately puts some glasses, these big hefty glasses on top of the bar, begins mixing some things into a large bowl, cups it and just like shakes it while just kind of looking over at all of you with her sunken dark sockets, little golden glow of eyes from deep within them, just kind of smiling as she looks across. So, tell me about your friends, Fern. This is Chetney, master craftsman, um, works with wood, so great. This is Laudna, the most beautiful, she died. We brought her back, and she's super powerful, crazy good with fire, FCG. It's my holiday to you. Trust me, I want to get in there too. <laughs> He opens up and he was like an assassin. Robot. Yeah. Like you looked at her and looked back and her head is like right there, oh, right in front oh, of me. You're like, oh, oh okay. okay. And it oh, recoils back. Gosh. Adds a few spices that she chucks into the top of the bowl, closes it up and keeps shaking as you continue. This is Imogen. She's a superhero. In her head she hears, Howdy. As soon as you go into the head, you hear a response of like seven or eight different voices go, Hi, 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 hi. Oh, yes. Okay. This is Orum, who I've been traveling with for a very long time. We've kind of befriended each other. He's kind of one of my best friends. And this is Ashton. Hi, Nana. It's a pleasure. May I call you Nana? It's a pleasure. You're allowed. <sighs> Nana, your look friend. at his head. Look inside. Isn't it gorgeous? She like removes one hand from the bowl and kind of is about to touch it. Goes, May I? Oh, yes, of course. As she for runs free. this long, crooked nail along the glass, you see like a dull blue glow follow from the inside. You feel this odd tingling sensation within your head, and for a split second, you begin to like remember flashes of things that you don't recall, and then they're gone again. And she just kind of pulls away. Oh, an interesting picture. Mm -hmm. Could we talk later? That okay? Yeah. Drinks first. I, <laughs> what uh, what recipe are you mixing for us? This is a Harold Carl special. She after shaking it through, it pulls up this like this odd bowl, and you can see there's a little spout on the far end. And she pulls this cork off. <laughs> and goes in. Just down and boop, 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 boop. just like filling each of these glasses, and there's one for each of you. Uh, it's kind of a, like a brackish liquid. It looks like it has some thicker elements floating towards the top, and it definitely smells of a, uh, a citrus swamp water. Uh, but she sets the bowl down and slides them all forward towards all of you. Bottoms up. I call this the moonlight glycerin. <laughs> Enjoy. And she takes the rest of the bowl and just drinks from it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers! Minus eyes. Minus eyes. Oh, I've missed your mouth. Strong. Oh. It's got a vibe. It's got a little. That's some quality mining, you guys. What's the sensation like as it hits our tongues? It's very sweet. The sugar hits you first, and then it begins to burn. It's like a warm burn, an interior blanket of a burn. Does it say alcohol, or does it say, what is this? Both. Awesome. <laughs> yes. It's Seven alcohol. What is this? The light in the room begins to brighten slowly and significantly. Fuck. Just a hint. Do I have any effect? You would actually have an effect on this, yeah. Oh, this is, did I taste it, or you, just? You all, for the next uh, eight hours, have a dark vision. Oh! oh so. And that hit yeah. relatively instantly? Within about a minute or so, because it's kind of stuff fade and For me, it. Liam. This uh, is uh -huh. amazing. Whoa, cool. <laughs> the Unseely have been building up their defenses. There's the Shiver Keep where they've hidden this device, and they have the Shiver and Keep. 
God. Never, ever, ever <laughs> be free of it. Nope. Not as long as we love you. Then let's begin. Let's <laughs> <laughs> begin. Chutney and I, we're, uh, we're a bit crafty ourselves. Do you want to yeah. meet one of my creations? By all means. <laughs> He's a little brash. Is he going to be alive right now? That's a good point. Was, was he in the first Please, place? without a dead. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 kind of curled up in a ball. Wake like, up! Sorry, I was having a little napsy. Pate. Yeah. And I want you to meet someone very special. Yeah. You have to be polite. Oh. This is Maury. Maury, this is Pate. Hi. Oh my goodness, look at this little man. Do you like him? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, this is a little weird. He's it's a big lady. <laughs> Reaches out and clasps yes, him. him. Yes, and her fingers right immediately <laughs> form into a cage around him. <laughs> our hands together, more fingers extend than she originally had on her hands, and there is this like like, elongated cage around Pate. Oh, 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 this is a little nerve wracking. Oh boy! You're fine. <laughs> da, 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 can I get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> You would be such a fine addition to the collection. Oh. <laughs> you ask me my hobbies, I'm kind of a collector. Mm. Oh. Alas, you're not mine. Puts her fingers back together and then releases her hands and it's just back to her hands normal. Matt take kind of, <laughs> and actually looks generally kind of shaken and she's like, <laughs> scoots into your outfit. Well crafted, that is quite talented. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm realizing we haven't actually filled y'all in on everything that we learned at the seminary. I definitely want to hear about this. But we already know from metagaming. <laughs> 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 What's that? It's Nana's third face. <laughs> Cute little cubby hole door. You can show them what they see as you lead them into your room. Oh boy. Fern's bedroom looks like swaths of beautiful fabric, a Marie Antoinette bed, and there's feathers everywhere. The curtains are skin. Mm. The, but I painted on them, so they look beautiful. There's more creatures on the ceiling. When I'm sad, Nana can make them perform. Oh. And they sing songs. Wow. Yeah. It's like the tiki room. There's a big round window where Fern can look out onto the world, but it's also, there's a cage of sorts outside of the window. Is that to keep you in or to keep other things out? Probably both. But I imagine it's just to protect. What's the view? <laughs> 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 this is like the interior of the tree. The large canopy of twisted vines that surround it, like a domed blanket of green and dark brown. When you look through the window, it's like the vines are thinned out, almost erasing some level of the tree cover visually from the window. And you can see instead over the constantly swirling and tangling and shifting tops of the surrounding swamp and forest. It's like just a, a beautiful aerial view of the wild expanse of the Harrow Call Fens that surround you. You can see like the cloudy elements of the sky and the bright pink orange hue it places and the perpetual sunset light that pushes through. You can see where it grows shaded on the right hand side of it gets darker and darker and in that distance like a heavy peak of these like tall needle thin teeth type mountains that rise up on the horizon and a little glowing red orb mm. that drifts at about the same height as the peaks of those mountains, but in front of them. What was that cage-like structure or room that we passed on the way up here? That is where Nana keeps her collection. Mm -hmm. What kind of collection is it? Are exactly? we allowed to look? It's just I'd everything. Love to see it. We can ask her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could ask her. I'm just assuming that you can probably put some of the stuff that you've been collecting like away, so you don't have to carry it all, That's all the time. That's true. Oh, we could keep that bust here. <gasps> I bet it would be really That's nice. Right, and we we could give to it to Nana. Oh my gosh, she would love it. I don't like having it in there, but okay. Oh, well. She would love it. Yeah, that's a very fair point. Yeah, okay. we it's should great, give that to her as a present. Great conversation piece right yeah. next to the bar. Mm. Oh, you sure. have to ask for permission? You don't seem to be someone that normally asks for permission to just look at things. That's true, but I respect my elders. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
you step inside the chamber and it's shelves and shelves and shelves, like just rows and rows of shelves that completely line the interior of the cylinder with a large spiral staircase that winds up. It's almost dizzying when you walk in. As you kind of look towards the peak, it almost feels like it's tilting and stretching in real time and the vertigo begins to kick in before you have to like right yourself to look around. But there are on all these shelves hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of glass jars, tiny little orbs, what looks to be like wooden boxes and chests, little statuesques and figurines made from porcelain or clay, fleshy faces that are stretched across uh, dried, uh, petrified fruit, long, dead, and dried fairies that are like pinned to a piece of corkboard, manners of eyes and dried herbs, whole flayed bodies that have been tanned and colored and painted on that just kind of dangle and flap with the breeze that's let in with the door opening, hanging strips of some unknown organic material and at the end of each one, a single face. And as you look at the face, since they're loose, it kind of smiles at you. A, a curiosity's collection of nightmares. And it is just an endless array of Things that each has a story, and you're not sure you want to know any of them. Oh. This is what that shitty museum should have been. Where does it all come from? Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. It's magnificent. It's amazing. You know, now you know where I got it from. Maybe someday, for in your collection, will be as vast as this. Is there something? You God, I hope so. Is there something you're particularly proud of now? Out of quite a few things. <laughs> How do you come by it all? Mm. Oh, they all come to me. I don't like to travel too much. This is my thing. I'm at my most confident and capable right here. Individuals come to me asking for things, favors, boons, gifts, grants. I take my price and place it here. Wow. You, 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 see, you know, the time thing, the time art. thing, it's it's really up to you, the time thing. It's like, uh, I mean, oh. we were going to give a gift, actually. We had a, we had uh, something for you, if you like. The, uh, the, uh, the smaller sleep head, like, Minnie goes, <laughs> What? Oh, oh, a gift? And lifts up the things. Oh, you've awakened her. And kind of settles back into the torso as the other head is now conscious, goes, I'm sorry, I heard something about a gift. I kind of wanted both of them to be awake for this, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring out the statue and, and set it down right in front. She kind of glances at it from behind, mm -hmm. it, it facing you and kind of taking your face as you set it down. You want to turn it around towards her. Ready? As you turn it from you, the face eventually kind of filters to just a neutral, smooth lack of any sort of detail. She kind of stumbles forward, her head craning down. Interesting. And as her head gets close to it, the terrifying, like, Latin nostril slit, sunken eye face of the upper head of Morrigan begin to form out of the statue. And she kind of looks it over. It's almost like the magic of the statue straining. It's trying to make the form, and then it kind of like picks up again, and then <laughs> picks up again. And it's just like something about her presence that the, the magic is having a hard time. <laughs> oh, cute. I wonder. Kind of opens the front oh, of the dress again and begins to stand up to her fuller height, show the secondary face. And the statue kind of like, <laughs> the crack begins to run through it. And she pulls away and goes, <laughs> Oh, I know this magic. It's always a pleasure to see its limits. I'll fix it right up. It'll be a good, a good little addition to the entryway and parlor. <laughs> Proud. I'm proud of a lot of things here. Maybe the heart of the Lion Guard. And she turns around, <laughs> sets up one of the steps to an upper shelf, about 15 up. Please tell me it's a real heart. Oh, maybe it's a pizza. I think a pizza. <laughs> what? It's a Disney show. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan somewhere in the future's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I remember auditioning for that years ago. She goes up and retrieves something and pulls it off the like an intricately presentational shelf up there. Comes down and there is a beautiful metallic locked, uh, like a jewelry box with a little like pointed top of the with a a, a gem embedded handle. Um, she pulls out a jangling key ring with hundreds of keys on it and just immediately plucks one. She knows exactly where it is and opens the lid and there inside there is a massive purple and black heart. Like just a, a wet, disembodied, fleshy heart going oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, what it's about did this, this big. Belong to? It belonged to the 
central champion of the Lion Guard. Here in the Fey Realm, there is a famed legendary a group of protectors of some of the midlands between the various influences of the Fey. The courts themselves leave the wildlands in between as a neutral place for meetings, competition, and all sorts of revelry and dangers. The Lion Guard were assigned a flowing guardianship over these middle lands, and uh, their champion I helped out many years ago, and uh, to this day, he asked me to keep this as payment for the favor. Wow. Like he's still up and moving about. As long as I have this. Yes. I was about to oh. say, it is still beating, which means there's wow. probably someone still walking around. That's so cool. That's incredible. Wow. And wherever he is right now, she pokes it a little oh. bit oh. because oh. he just got some heartburn. <laughs> I was wow. gonna ask. You're so nice. Thank you. Actually, yeah. actually, man, if you do have a second, I don't normally have any feeling. This bit is kind of a not really me. It's uh, just glass. That I got kind of a, a thing happened when you were uh, poking around up there. You wouldn't happen to know why that is, or if this reminds you of anything, or not in particular. That is a very it just never happened before. It wasn't bad. It was actually really interesting, but it never mm -hmm. happened before. And she reaches out yeah. again and kind of like takes her finger and traces it along the side again. There's another like weird blue flicker on the inside, and then there's a burst, like like in a split second, oh. just about an inch outside of Ashton's head. You see this like miniature disc of dark black and purple clouds with speckles of light, like this tiny little galaxy that just apparates just the side of his head and then shuts. She pulls her finger back. Oh no 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 no! I'm not. Touching that. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Did you touch that? That was weird. It's odd. You look at her and like, she has this expression like a mistrust and surprise. Like she just burned herself on a stove. Apologize. I don't know. This is <laughs> its own thing. I don't know. FCG and I have gotten burned in there as yeah, well. I, it, I didn't think you'd be going in. That's a tree. Uh, what is it? What is it? I don't know that sensation. It is weird, and I wouldn't recommend going all the And I could actually show you, do you want to see something weird? <laughs> oh, wait. Let's maybe not do this in here. I'm going to step outside. I hit hyper rage. In one place, I'm just going to move. Like flash, like mm. uh, 160 feet in one in one round. Just, yeah. This barbarian, uh. barbarian goes to 11. <laughs> so. Ashton, what in the world? Okay, I'm good. Did you hmm. the flash? How have you been able to do that? I don't know. It happened when I did it a little while ago. Uh, actually, I don't. I guess we were all busy punching things, and yeah, that that was the thing. I just figured out how to do uh, a while ago. We should all go work in the kitchen more often. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, the, like Imogen said, they got stuck in there. Yeah, we got I, stuck in his brain. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh my god. I love you. <laughs> it's strange. You seem smart. Of course. The best I can describe <laughs> is whatever magic resides in that crystal feels very new, yet very old. That's a start. If you ever, if you ever think of anything, I'd appreciate it. You're, you know, you're the first of a collection of clever people. I'm figuring I should. I think on it. You begin to hear a. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and you see a shadow suddenly come around from one of the hedges and oh. start rushing towards all of you before it stops. <gasps> Sweet pea? Burr? What? Hey! You see a massive, rotund sun bear where they wide underbite, fluffy poof of a beard at the bottom of his chin, who's just kind of holding on to one of the arches and like, <sighs> I just gotta get my. Breath for a second. All right, all right, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Yeah. Oh, hey, big boy. Wait, what? What is it? What is his name? What's sweet, this sweet is Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is one of my nice really good friends. Nice to meet you. Oh, Hi, Sweet Pea. Yeah. Haven't had Rob and had a lot of new guests oh, around oh, here. Oh, that's a nice tone. We're getting a tour. It's <laughs> fantastic. What is this yeah. Nice to have some new blood here in the in the manor. Nice to meet you. We got plenty of room in the garden for a few more topiaries. Oh, I knew it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> He's just joking. He's just joking. I, with you. I, saw, He's just joking. I saw you looking at him from a distance up close. I figured it was kind of a joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> we would make these together. They're great. Yeah. What's the yeah. thumping sound we're hearing? Oh. That's a secret. Okay. Detect thought. I know. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know what you don't do what said not really mean. <laughs> I only have a fourth level left. We're going to go ahead. So. Yeah. You only, you only roll once. Fourth level detect thoughts. Okay. 
the the surface thought you get is I want to get back to that bowl of oats. Uh, oh. They interrupted me, <laughs> but uh, don't want the flies to get to it. The thumping is just a secret. I I keep to the garden. I don't really know what the thumping is. I just when it happens, I'm supposed to water them more. Interesting. Yeah. You're not really hearing it at the moment. If you get close to one of the bushes, you can kind sure, of sure. I'll it. do that. Does it sound like it's coming right from? It does. From a topiary person or just yeah. a, a, that's a person. Sometimes with art, you shouldn't really analyze the process too much. It's yeah. just more about taking yeah. it in and, just, you know, it they're makes not, you feel something. They're not people. Interpretation of the mess. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I'm going to put my hand on Orem's shoulder. What do you think is worse, ending up as a flayed person in a collection room or a, a living topiary stuck in a certain spot forever? You hear, I'm not questioning it. We got shit to do. Mm. You also get from Sweet Pea uh, about the, the thumping sound. I never quite really figured out why. I may, I may ask her what thumping is too. Now I'm curious. You get the sense that Sweet Pea is is just kind of happy to be here. Great. For you, you, you've mentioned Sweet Pea before, but um, did you guys grow up together? Did Sweet Pea look after you, or are you more like? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just best of friends. I mean, you're meeting you're meeting all the hits, you know. She was this... real rambunctious, hard to hard to keep up with. Always running around, causing trouble, and then I'd get in trouble, and then we would both get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> not gonna lie, I kind of miss it. Me too. But it's good to see you first. It's really good to see you oh. too. He hugs her and looks back at y'all with his weird eyes. <laughs> <laughs> So are they moving in too? Well, just for the night. Are you staying? Yeah. As long as we have you back. I think he's asking if you're staying like forever. forever. Oh, well, I'm not staying forever. No. I don't think. <laughs> I know. Well, we'll see. You can't say no to that, bro. You can't. Saunters back over to the physically pouting with his whole body as he walks over to one of the branches and plucks a leaf from it, starts chewing on it. Sun bears have tongues almost as long as yours. I know. Yeah. We should compare at some point. But he's a little sad right now. Sweet Pea has now returned from his pouts. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, friends, for the night. If you need anything, just let me know. I'll be up here in the garden. Step inside. <laughs> I'll shoot straight okay. up back. Yep. <laughs> Roll initiative. Yeah. The interior feels oddly larger than the exterior. While the, from the outside it looked like it's that small space, the inside is about a 20 to by 30 foot chamber. Whoa. It has three large beds with silken black linens covered in patches of just heavy furs that are thrown over them like blankets. Bright reds with little dots of spots of white in them. Brown and black, almost wolf looking furs that are kind of laid out in other sections. And it's these three three massive guest beds, more or less, within here. Deep, deep blood red paint across the inside walls on the, the wood that used to kind of form the interior here. There are these long golden cables from end to end that have small little lanterns that hang from them that have these little candles in them that kind of flicker and glow, giving this, this soft ambient light. Uh, it smells like a burning rose incense. Uh, and there are tapestries across many of these walls. They all have very, very similar art styles, stark black and white tiger stripe patterns that form like long tunnels so you pull back and the overall design of each tapestry looks almost like a screaming face. Oh, that's upsetting. And each one's unique and different with different orientations and there's about seven of them across all these walls. Such a tranquil environment for sleeping. There seems to be a, a theme of pain and agony and torture. Sometimes when I do sessions with people, I have them draw things as sort of a, a window into their inner thoughts. Sometimes fears and sometimes desires. I hope it's not desire. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do these. Nana already had these here. Oh, oh! Okay, this is gonna be a little stoned because I admit that drink hit hard. You're always a little stoned. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah, now yeah, you're yeah, one up. Yeah, yeah. Now you're one up. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. Yes. You, Imogen, and find yourself drifting into the darkness. In this dark, shattered expanse, you see that distant red glow. These two gentle, flanking orbs just emanating warm, familiar energy. You drift closer. First, it looks like it's the red moon, but as you get nearer, it looks more like an opening, gateway that leads to red light beyond it. I look back at my two little buddy orbs. You hear them talking, the hissed and echoing feel to it, like they're not quite as close as Imogen. Hi. 
Hi. <laughs> you cute little orb. Oh my god. I've always wanted oh, to be an what? orb. My phone. What happened? Oh, I just you got, got your, your circle. Ring. I got a red circle on my watch. Whoa. Whoa. You just did it. What's happening? Fuck off, Pradafos. There's a flare. You feel like an extension of the forest that surrounds the tree, but it's bathed in a deep red light. And I'm going to go through the opening. And you drift. And you look down, and beneath you is just this endless rolling landscape of munches, munches, munches. mountains punching up. That's why it's mountain punches merging. Mm -hmm. Munches. Ma munches. <laughs> scene. <laughs> 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 mountains punching up through this ever dangerous looking cluster of brambles and threatening looking overgrown landscape. You look back from where that window you came from, mm. and you just see Brutus right there in the sky, like you had just stepped out of it. But it seems small, about that size. You don't see any key, you don't see anything else beyond just the sprawling, twisted forest region beneath you. But looking yeah. back at Ruidus, it's a weird optical illusion where it looks like a solid object, but then almost at some angles it looks like a hollow opening. I'm gonna think of my mother. Your hands go through, your perspective shifts, like the statues in the Haunted Mansion that are actually inverse faces. And now instead of a black expanse where you started, you are now within a rapidly dust-filled, red, familiar environment. Mother. You remember those old memories of her before she left that you hadn't thought of in so long. You remember the sound of her voice when you contacted her. You feel a direction of the storm pull towards you, like those nights that you look up to the red moon and you feel this instinctual yearning. Eventually you come to the precipice with a wide, deep pit. Sections of scaffolding, platforms and cranes and structures built on the outskirts of this deep pit. I head down into it. And you feel the gravity of the pit the draw downward. Like the course of a river without water around you, you, you pass other platforms and uh, rope and chain based elevators and this kind of a long spiraling lattice work of structures and ladders and shadows, shades quickly. Woo, woo. The imprint of people burned into space, but they're not material, shades across these platforms. It's a ruin of something, towers that are being excavated. Clusters of these shades mucking in the space around it. In the center of these ruins, curved, pointed structures that all eventually be intentionally built towards a point, a central location. What was once a robust, small townscape that fell and was buried to time here lays partially bare. In the middle of it, one mighty tower that drives upward, massive three-pronged fork kind of curls into itself at its apex, along the base of it. A telescope-looking device, many more shades around. Some are brighter than others. Most are just dark, but some of them have a faint red glow to them. One of them, a woman with deep lavender hair, braided in the back, long coat. Can I go up next to her? Touch her head. The minute you do, she stops. You shouldn't be here. I can help you. You have to go. She raises her hand like this and looks towards you, and suddenly you feel like everything around you stretches and pulls away, like you're being dragged down an extended tunnel. Miles and miles away, your mother's face becomes this pinpoint at the end of a long hallway, and you're gone. As both of you are pulled out of the dream by your mother, uh, you both come to consciousness oh. as well. So you all kind of wake up relatively the same time. You achieve a long rest, but you wake up with a point of exhaustion. I can, I can go to someone when they're not asleep. Nondescript, kind of peach, ruddy, leather wrapped in ribbons and kind of hands them over to you, Fern. These are Harrowcall veils. These were made long ago for a particular friend, for a particular job. They ended up not needing them as they were a fool and got themselves killed. They'll help you be unseen in certain oh. shaded spaces when not moving. Oh, and for you, Fern well-made breastplate, like a bodice with, with like dark carvings in it, leather frills that kind of lap over each other on the shoulders. Looks very functional, but also very, very pretty. This is a gloom scale breastplate oh. that I've just had in my collection from a long time ago. It belonged to a princess once. She fell in battle. She wasn't going to be using it anymore. <laughs> For sure, no. We can't just leave it there. No. Oh, it's Whoa. just beautiful. I'll do some spins. <laughs> <laughs> Before you pass through the gate, smear a bit on your forehead and cheeks. 
Jizz. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. FCG. I hear what I want to hear. I think an addition again. Where are your minds oh, tonight? Get you Do not hit on my grandmother. I can't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking in full voice. <laughs> <laughs> I just start caressing FCG's body since he's so horny. This <laughs> tiny little voice comes in. Fun. Fun. <laughs> Is it coming from the direction of where we came? It is. The sound of wings flapping. <laughs> Landing on a nearby branch. No, 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 okay, no, no, guy, no. Dr. Nisbet. Oh, Fern, it's been so long. It's been so long. It's so wonderful to oh. see you. My goodness, look at you all so grown. A weirdly proportioned owl-like bird, <laughs> about that big, um, with gray dappled white oh, wow. feathers, two small jet black beady eyes, and a thin wide beak that stretches from end to end of their face. On the edge of the branch looking at her, and putting its wing out and holding onto her cheeks. Oh, it's so wondrous. I heard you were passing by and I missed the opportunity to speak with you and I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for just coming to say hello, we are going to, we're on a very important mission. Where are you going? We are going to the Unsailing Court. Why? We're gonna take something apart. That sounds dangerous. It is. Mm. Very, very You're dangerous. You're probably going to die. And that we might. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. It's so exciting, and then see what comes next. <laughs> right? Yeah. Can I help? Absolutely, you can help. How? Do you know the way to the Unsealy Court? No? All right. Mm. Okay. We could use your eyes, maybe, if you flew over to find things? Sure, I can try it. You have a, like a strong skill set that you can offer. Companionship conversation. Yeah. I can tear apart a mean taffy mouse. Yeah. Sure. Maybe sure. the Unsealy Court is just a bunch of mice. Who are they? I don't know. Oh, I've never seen them. Goes to land on your shoulder, and Mr. goes, <laughs> and like no, goes to deck of this judgment. Relax, just relax. Takes off and lands back on the branch and goes, <clears throat> Guess we got off on the wrong foot. Well, just fly behind us. I did not replace you, so don't even think about it. That's not what I heard. No, no. There's room for many to love. I can love a lot. I'll help you out, because it's fun. What is your specialty, Doctor? Conversation. Companion. Ooh, worm! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's my hair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I must do. Get off! Get off! <laughs> Read a lot of books in Nana's library about all sorts of strange things. Mm. Read about this silly court. I'm sure I read about it, but it uh, wasn't very interesting of a read. I kind of forgot it. What's your favorite book you've ever read, Doctor? I We're tend still to forget them, by all. the way. Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Yes. 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 Please just Please. walk. <laughs> <laughs> you just stopped here for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fifty feet from this I read a lot of books. I don't remember them. I tend to oh. put them back. It's more of a way to pass the time. I recall some things. I imagine. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Out of, out of curiosity, <laughs> if you just kept telling yourself that you do read all the time, you wouldn't actually have to do it, would you? That's true, but reading books makes you smarter, you see. Mm. You tell people how many books you've read, and it makes you a smart person. Do you remember how many books you've read? No, but I know it's many. <laughs> Got One, it. two, three. three. <laughs> three. And this bitch continues, like, whistling to himself, like, <laughs> What's this? It's another tree. I haven't seen this tree before. This is a new tree. That tree's new too. He's in trouble. I don't know. He's in danger. He's in danger. So many new Dr. Nesbitt. Yeah? I would like to keep you alive, so I think you should fly home. But what about adventure? Oh, Well, I feel like we're going into the danger zone. On the highway, you could say. Nope, that's a valid point. I'll wait for you at home. Good luck. Don't die. Bye, Doctor. You do come as the the hill begins to rise down. Yep. Right. Do like come to the base of the. <laughs> you arrive at. I know. He said, "Come on the base." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hard to, hard to do. Uh oh. This is what we, we deserve. Uh -oh. It. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> See my door. See the product. That is a I have tongues. We it's know. Just one long time. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> or tongue. But does anyone speak Elven? Do Would I be girl? able to? No Elven. I love it. It's great. Can I activate tongues on myself? Benat. Benat. I'll tongue myself immediately. <laughs> oh! Sinks into the ground to your right hand <clears throat> side. <clears throat> Locks the arrow. Benat. Just finished casting the spell. Uh huh. Oh. Hold up my hands. Benat slowly shifts into. Do not oh. move. And that's what in tonight's episode. Oh. There. Yeah.
We'll pick up upon the. We did. We did. We made it. I finally got to use that, that little uh, uh, probability shift. That was fun. You did. That was I've been cool. looking forward to that forever. That one's a fun one. Yeah. Sorry for the chaos, Matt. Woo! Yeah. Don't be sorry. We're all a little loopy. We're a little loopy. Sit it's been down a long week. We're all loopy. We sign off the show, okay. Ashley Johnson. Say again. Jeez. We're Sit still down. broadcasting. Sorry. <laughs> I'm here. Right. We're going to have a there talk. Is, oh. There's some kind of big light. chaos okay. energy tonight. Are you going to show that? Oh, we're going to show it? it? Oh, we'll let her show it. We're going to show, 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 show and tell to end the night. Wait, no. My mom built this. Oh, can they... This was like the inspo for, for Nana's. Oh. Yeah. Isn't it so great? It's, it's so, so It's a bird house. In your I love it's it. So it's so great. It's so beautiful. I'll bring it up. Creepy hands. Do a little photo shoot with yeah. it. Yeah, we'll take a photo. Four-sided dive. Super, super, oh, yeah, super yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a good yeah. idea. Put it on. Thank you for joining us and dealing with our chaos for the evening. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Love you very much, and is it Thursday? Good night. <laughs>